Hello everybody, this is Laura with Jot and Tittle Typewriters. I have a 1960 Smith Corona Galaxy 2 and we have repainted it in a cherry red. Ah, this is like, wow, it's gorgeous, gorgeous. And it matches perfectly the Galaxy 2 lettering in red and the, the red accents that are already on this typewriter. So I can't wait to share it to you. Uh, before I get started, please give me a thumbs up. Just takes you a half a second. Thanks so much for doing that. Subscribe and hit the notification bell. Every Saturday morning, we upload new typewriter listings, and this is our week 12. Uh, this typewriter is part of week 12 batch of new typewriter listings that are going live on our website. And we know most of our viewers aren't actually our customers, so you're probably watching this to learn how to use your typewriter, which is totally fine. But keep in mind, I am showing this to people who are looking at purchasing. So um, that is kind of the background of why I do these videos, but the majority of you just find it helpful in using your own typewriter. So if, uh, if you don't mind, visit our, type, our website at jotandtittletypewriters.com. The link is in the description below. That helps us keep this channel going. Um, we have typewriter covers, um, we have ribbons, uh, typewriter pads to keep your typewriter from scooting, and we even have typewriter art. So please take a look, and if you have uh, any questions or have any issues, let me know. And we do also have an Etsy shop and that link is also in the description below. All right, let's get started. So this gal, I love these manuals from the 60s and 70s by Smith Corona because they're perfect for those of you just getting into typewriting. Um, or if you're looking for something for your kids. So if you are a beginner or you need something for your kids, Look for a Smith Corona from the 60s and 70s to get started. Um, they're the most affordable, they're mechanically, they're sound. And then as you get used to it, then you can invest in a lot of the more expensive typewriters out there. But let's take a look at this one. Here's your paper holder that helps keep your paper from flopping over, which is actually very handy. I really like having a paper holder. Um, press and drag your margins on either side because it's not a computer. You must set your margins. And when your carriage moves, it moves only where you have the margin set. So to move your carriage, there's two levers right here. It doesn't matter which one you pull. And oh, nice strong bell and you want that. And you may think, well, what the is the bell for? Well, the bell tells you, hey, you are at the end of your margin. You are going to have to hit return because it's a typewriter, not a computer. It doesn't automatically return. So you got to hit that return handle. And then also when you hit that return handle, you want to look at your line selector. Do you want it to advance one, two or three lines? That's up to you. You set it right here. Okay. Let's go back over. I'm going to move this carriage to the left and why you may ask, will you see this handle right here? This handle likes to scrape the top of these when you want to open them up. So I always make sure my handle is to the left before I open the top. Inside you'll see a spool and we always put brand new ribbon in all of our typewriters. And if you need a ribbon, please visit jotandtittletypewriters.com. We have ribbons on our website, including a custom option. So if you have a specialty sized spool, you can send us your spool and we will wrap it with fresh ribbon for you. Okay, so you just literally pop, you just lift these up and you just put a new one in. It's super, super simple. And then you got to thread it through the guide wires and it'll make your hands really messy. Um, but so you, um, Rob wears gloves and I never have gloves with me for the typing demos. But anyway, it makes your hands messy so you'll have to wear gloves or wash them. And then um, make sure it's threaded properly. Red, I mean, black is on top, red is on bottom. When you get to the end of the spool, it's not the end of the ink in your ribbon. This ink does not dry out. It will take decades for that to dry out. So um, when you get to the end of the spool, just reverse the direction, which our ribbons need to be manually reversed. 
and you do that right here, okay? Super, super simple. Okay, and so you just reverse the direction of your ribbon, and you can reverse it many times before you need to replace the ribbon spool out, okay? That's just an FYI. Right here, this determines how hard, the LMH, low, medium, high, I guess, um, it determines how hard the, these bars in here strike your paper. I am just having a hard time concentrating today. Okay, over here is your color selector. It's on red. You flip it up to black. The clear in the middle is actually stencil. If your selector is on that middle box, the open box, your typewriter is not going to type right. So um, if you have trouble you're typing and it's not typing right, check two things. Check to make sure you don't need to reverse the direction of your ribbon, okay? And make sure it's cl clearly on black or red. All right, down here is your tab button, and if you wanna set your tabs, there's a lever that says set and a lever that says clear. Let's go ahead and load some paper and do some typing. Okay, so you just set your paper. Actually, I'll bring this paper. This is a paper guide right here. I'll just bring that over and you set your paper there. Turn the handle, bring that up, and then um, check my margins. I'll bring it in a little bit. And let's go ahead and type. So this is a 1960s, woo, that has a really nice bounce back. Love to feel that in a, in a keystroke. 1960s, Smith, Corona, Galaxy 2. Okay, so dang, this types really well. I'm gonna make one little note. Um, when it comes to the smallest of kids, let's say you're looking for a typewriter for your real little ones, like six, seven, eight, nine years old. Um, uh, keep in mind that the manuals are gonna be a little more difficult for them and you may wanna consider an electric and that's because you have to press really far down on the keys. So while this one types very easy, their little fingers might have trouble. They're gonna to have to one finger it, you know, dink, 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 um, and go very slow, and they're gonna to have to press really far down. So um, if you have little, little ones, you, I really do recommend um, an electric from the 60s or 70s versus a manual. Okay, let's keep going. Wow, that has a... Oops, let's set a tab maybe right here. Um, so I was hitting, I'm hitting this pretty hard. I have a pretty heavy hand and I'm gonna uh, kind of loosen up on my pressure a little bit because uh, you don't need a lot of pressure on this one. Man, this one is like a go-getter typewriter. It's like, bam, bam, bam. Yeah, let's get this done. Woo, I like it. No hesitancy whatsoever in this typewriter. Let me just say that this is one of the best keystroke feel I have um, on a typewriter that I've felt in a while. I mean, we have some, if you watch my other videos, I tell you that they all work really well, which they do. But every once in a while you come across one and you're just like, yeah! Whoa, okay, so, and that's this one. Hope that was entertaining to you guys. So this is the smaller font, the Elite, the 12 CPI characters per inch. So you're gonna, um, if you, <laughs> If you, um, you either, if you have bad eyesight, you're gonna need glasses or you need a bigger font. Just saying, okay. Um, but the font is nice and clear and even. I love it, it looks amazing. This actually is typing like it's brand new. Oop, 
there's that bell. So that bell tells you, hey, hit the return handle. But I'm gonna keep going to show you the margin release. Okay, so now it's stopped on me. It's not gonna let me type or move anymore. So I hit MR, margin release. I can finish my word and then hit the return handle. Okay, this is a woo-hoo typewriter. Amazing, it's a A++ from me. Please grab this red. Typewriters never last long, neither do the pink ones. Um, this is such a good working typewriter that even if you are well-versed in the typosphere, um, you're gonna love this typewriter. If you're just looking for something to add, why not? One, it's affordable. Two, it works amazing. Probably works better than a very expensive one you already have on your shelf. So grab it. And if you're a beginner, you're gonna love it. So easy to use, so easy to type on, um, not intimidating whatsoever. You're just gonna, and it's gorgeous. All right, thanks so much for watching. Remember to give us a thumbs up and have a great day.